Hi, um, I'm Phoebe. I've never done this before. Um, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I am. Um, I'm here today um, to talk to Lauren um, Kubiak, who is from the uh, National Resources Defense National Resource Defense Fund, um, and I'm. She's one of I'm NRDC's leading ocean experts, and um, she's here today um, to answer a few of. Uh, my questions, um, and I'm going to invite her now, s somehow. Um, here we go. <laughs> okay. Lauren. Hi, Phoebe. How are you? How's it going? Great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very good. I'm, I'm really excited to meet you and thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, of course. Thank you for doing this. I'm excited to talk oceans with you. Me as well. And I've, I've never done this Instagram live before. So it's, a, it's, it's very, uh, very new thing for me as well. It's kind of fascinating. Where are you? You're in New York right now, right? Yeah, I'm in our New York office. Okay, well, I'm where, in Australia. Where are you? In Australia. I'm in Australia. Mm -hmm. Nice. We're oceans apart. Yes. And <laughs> oceans Speaking apart. of. <laughs> and many hemispheres um, apart. Oh. <laughs> um, well, I have just a couple of questions um, for you um, that I would like to ask. Um, I'm going to move this aside a little bit. Um, so what are the current, um, the biggest threats um, right now to our ocean? Yeah, so the oceans are super important. We rely on the ocean for the air we breathe. It produces oxygen that we need to survive. It produces food that we need to live. And it also absorbs a lot of heat from climate change, so it helps moderate our climate system. And unfortunately, there are a lot of threats facing the ocean. So a lot of a lot of you watching have probably heard about plastic pollution. So by some measures, um, some scientists think there's going to be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050, which is pretty alarming. Um, there's, yeah, so that's, that's one statistic that you're like, wow, that's, humans really do have a big impact. So that's pretty crazy. Um, there's seismic impacts. So whales and dolphins need to rely on sound to navigate. And when there's um, loud ships from shipping, or if there's oil and gas drilling or exploration, that creates really loud sound that interferes with their ability to navigate, and whales can walk on shore. Right. Hmm? Yeah. I said, yeah, I've never thought of that. You know, yeah, that's a big, that's a big issue that I didn't know a lot about until, um, a couple of years ago, it's be, there's a lot of new research that shows just how dramatic the impacts of noise pollution are. Yeah, wow. And, yeah, and there's a lot of um, a lot of overfishing. Fish are, fish populations are declining, and yeah, there. Are, sorry to be a downer, but <laughs> there are a whole lot of threats that that are facing the ocean. And is there anything? Um that the government can do or is doing um, to combat these threats? Yeah, that's actually an area where I, I feel pretty optimistic about. So a lot of my work is focused on the high seas, which is the area of ocean outside of any national jurisdiction. So all of the ocean that's kind of way out there, so more than 200 miles offshore. And it's a place that probably most people will never go, but um, but a lot of fishermen are starting to fish there more and more, and it's, it's also a huge area. It's almost half the planet and about two-thirds of the ocean, and governments um, just two weeks ago here in New York, the United Nations started negotiating a treaty to protect the high seas, so all of that area doesn't have really any adequate safety for the marine life that lives there, so government started recently started to negotiate a treaty to better protect that marine life and um and that's a, an area where i have a lot of optimism yeah right 
And then my my last question is, um, what can we what can we do, and what can people that are watching this at home, um, what can we do to kind of help um, and you know contribute to to protecting our oceans? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. So I think I think there are personal actions that people can take, and also political actions because when you when you change policy, that's um, you're having a lasting impact and in a, in a big impact. So um, some some personal impact act, uh, some personal <laughs> <action>. <laughs> some personal actions that people can take are using less single-use plastic items, so like plastic straws, um, plastic cups for coffee. So you can bring your own straw, uh, you can bring your own coffee cup, you can bring your own bag when you go to the store so you don't have to get the plastic bags which end up in the ocean and end up hurting the wildlife there. So, so those are some individual actions and also to help help with overfishing. Um, there are some really good resources to help you figure out what fish is sustainably fished and what fish is being overfished. So one of, um, one of those resources is the Mon Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Guide. So you can go to the Monterey Bay um, Seafood Watch website what? and download the guide which tells you what fish is, is well well managed and what's sustainable and what's what's overfished and you should avoid at the grocery store right okay that's great and where can we find that information um that's it the seafood watch website so if you google monterey bay Aquarium seafood guide it come up and it, it has yeah the the best options and the the less good options okay. and, and yeah and one other um more kind of fun action that oh, hopefully see for a second. Can... oh hmm. can you see me now i can't hear you oh no uh oh hello can you hear me now i can't uh it's really quiet <laughs> how about <laughs> Technology is wonderful until so it's not. <laughs> I know it's amazing we're we're talking across so many oceans, but there's bound to be some difficulties. I Am I a little bit louder now? Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, great. So um, one of the oh one of the um, the other things that people can do that hopefully hopefully some people watching right now can do is. Um, the next negotiating session for the High Seas Treaty is starting in March of next year. And before that, we're asking people to post a photo of the ocean or their or even a selfie or whatever kind of their favorite ocean related image is with the hashtag one ocean, one planet. And we're planning to gather all of those photos on Instagram and on Twitter and make a mosaic to display at the UN to show governments that are negotiating the treaty, how much support there is for protecting the ocean. So that's an easy way that you can contribute and actually get your, get your photo at the United Nations and in front of governments who are making decisions that are gonna um, impact the planet for the next you know, several centuries. Yeah, <laughs> for generations and generations to come. Yes. Um, well, Lauren, thank you so much. I really appreciate you answering these questions for me. Um, and if anyone's watching at home wants any more information, um, you can either follow NDRC on Instagram or go on their website or follow Lauren. Do you have Instagram? I do have Instagram. My, my Instagram is less interesting than the <laughs> at NRDC underscore org Instagram. So I, I would recommend following at NRDC underscore org or if you want to follow me and see my my pictures of my various vacations to to Maine that and to awesome. the beach, I'm great worthwhile yeah. Instagram follower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, and then if you, yeah, if anyone's a Twitter user, we we also have Twitter accounts that um, so NRDC and I have a, a at Lauren Kubiak account. Well, Lauren, it was awesome to meet you. Thank you so much. That was really, really great information to have. And I hope anyone watching at home um, learned something today. And um, yeah, it was, it was a really great, uh, great to talk to you. So great to talk to you too, Phoebe, and great to meet you and have, enjoy your day. It's, a, it's almost nighttime Thank here you. in New York. It's but very early just, here, so it's the rest yeah, of the day. Yeah, you just I think started it's the day. <laughs> <laughs> have a good, Thank have you. A good evening. Thank you, you too. Bye, Lauren.
Bye.